Hey sweeties and welcome back to Kiki Creates. I am Kiki and this is my YouTube channel. You know I like saying that. Welcome back if you're a returning subscriber and you've been watching all of my videos. Thank you so much. I appreciate every like, every view, every comment. It makes me very, very, very happy to see you guys interacting with me and just allowing me the time. Like a piece of your time, you give it to watch my channel. That means a hell of a lot for me. So thank you to everyone who's already done that. And if you're a new subscriber or a new watcher, welcome honey. I am going to link my first two videos above here so you can go watch those in order to get a better understanding of what we're doing on this channel, what we're about, and yeah, just get a feel of what we're about. Anyway, to get into this week's video, I'm very excited for this updo. It was so much fun making. I. I had a jaw, sweetie, I had a jaw and I love the outcome, I love how it looked when, when I was done and therefore I'm very excited about it. I know I say I'm excited about every video or whatever thing that I'm going to post but that's really because I'm very excited about this channel, I'm very excited about furnishing my place and just giving myself the aesthetic that I've been dreaming about what my apartment should and what I want it to look like. So seeing those things come together piece by piece really is just exciting for me. But anyway, let me not babble on. This was a piece of furniture that I already had and I just decided I wanna make it look a little bit more light and airy and beautiful and, and new age. It, it wasn't bad looking before, but I just, I just tipped it over a bit and just made it that much more cuter to look at and yeah i hope you guys are gonna enjoy it but before we go please do like this video comment down below because i need a lot of your likes sweetie i also would like for you to please subscribe to my channel because i need a lot of subscribers honey <laughs> i think i'm gonna say that a lot but i do i need your subscribers um i need your subs i need for you guys to subscribe that's what i mean anyway Thank you so much for watching, but as for now, let's let the time lapse roll, sweeties. <laughs> stand looks like before it's got these holes of these things that broke so what happened was I took it from East London to here and they completely completely ruined it like it looks an absolute mess so I'm firstly gonna have to fill these holes and I have to sand this whole thing down and I'm gonna paint it and just yeah try and revive it somehow so it has a board that goes at the back here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint that board white as well and then drill it back in so this is what we're working for for now and I'm gonna go ahead and fill in the these holes with a wood filler that I'll be using they said I should buy a white one because the stand is going to be white and it's sandable and has a smooth finish so hopefully this works. Focus.
So I bought these two slabs to cover the front and the back so that I can be able to add the furniture feet. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making that and yeah tell me what you think tell me what you think I'm excited to hear what you guys think about my stand I love it I think it's beautiful and I know you guys are gonna like it too and as I've said in my past two videos with each and every post that I do on the Sunday I try and give you guys tips and tricks to like I always say not make the same mistakes that I make and not finyoza like I finyoza because I did finyoza a lot and but I, I I figured out ways to fix whatever problems that I made and I've learned for the next wooden thing that I have to do what should be done and what shouldn't be done and hopefully you can learn from me that's that's all I want in this channel I want you guys to learn so that you can make your dream cupboards and your dream beds and your dream stands like I'm doing anyway Tip or trick number one is let your paint dry. Let your paint dry. Do not be impatient. Take all the time in the world. If you put in the first coat, give it a few hours so that it dries. Don't paint on don't paint on top of wet paint. Don't do that. That's what I did because I was impatient. I wanted to get done so that when Monday comes, I just jump back into my nine to five. But if you've got time, hopefully you do have time um take your time take your time paint let it dry and then put it and use how many ever coats you need for it to reach 
the ultimate sheen or whiteness or whatever that you want. That's tip number one. Tip number two, when you're using spray paint, oh, so witty. That thing firstly went all over my little towel situation outside, but I figured out a way to clean that. But you need to be, I think it's six or eight centimeters away from whatever you're spray painting, because if you're too close, the, there's going to be drippings of spray paint all over your, your thing that you spray painted and it's not going to look so great. Luckily for me, the, the legs of the stand aren't as visible if you're just sitting down and watching TV or if you're just walking into my apartment. So it wasn't a train smash, but if it's something that's going to be visible, like handles or whatever that you're going to be spray painting, stand back a bit so that it's a clean spray paint and there aren't any drippings because there's some drippings on mine. And the third thing that I'm, the third tip that I have for you when you're using the wood filler. So if, if you can see in the video, I'm trying to fill from the inside out, but what I figured after I was done is that you just need to scrape it on as, as flatly and as neatly as you can, whether there's enough filling inside the hole or not, really doesn't matter. But the outside needs to be as level and as straight as it possibly can and let that dry as well before you actually sand it down and it will give you a better finish than what I think I have on my stand. Hopefully it's something that I can fix. If not, it's not a train smash. I'll get some decorations to try and conceal the parts that weren't filled in properly. And those are my tips and tricks and I hope they're gonna help you if you decide to up to your stand and just give it that little tip of greatness. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Thank you so much for entertaining me. Is it entertaining me? For obliging. English is not my first language, but anyway, thank you so much. I am happy at the purpose of my channel. It literally is giving me a purpose that I didn't think I needed outside of my actual life. So I'm just very happy to be doing this. Oh my God. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe, tell me what you think, and let's see each other next week. Clink, clink, so it is. Wow.